Hey everyone, Captain here. Coming at you in the aftermath of GoonCon. Now there's a lot of stuff that happened I want to talk about. Uh, chief among them is just the fact that over the years there's been a lot of things that we've thought about George and assumed about George. And the crazy thing is how much of it turned out to be true. Even going back to the old days, the early YouTube days of uh, 2009, 2010, where we believed that George was deep in debt, would lose his house, all these other things, and they, they proved to be true. We also believed that he was a coward because one of the older goons uh, back from back then, Yanks, Joshua Miller, who we'll all remember that George famously invited him to put your head in here, knock on this door, and he told him he would maim him and maul him until he can't get off the floor. Well, George never did meet up with Yanks, and he never did meet up with anyone else. Henry uh, at the Buffalo Wild Wings, he always denied that anybody was there. But if we look at what happened during Goon Con, the biggest notable no-show was George. Watt came out of his apartment to chat with the uh, goons. Roger came, and we'll get to we'll get to Roger. But Roger came out to talk to the goons. And who didn't end up meeting up with the goons? They tried so hard to let him know where they were and he, he was absent and we know beyond a doubt that he was huddled somewhere in his van crying and wringing his hands terrified despite the fact that for years he had begged for this begged that same goon that I mentioned Yanks was in town. George could have met him if he wanted to. And he refused. He chose to hide. To slink in the shadows like a rodent. Which is fitting for someone like him. He should be embarrassed. All that tough guy talk and it all amounts to the same thing as the kid in, in high school that only finds a pair of balls when the teacher's around and as soon as they're gone his eyes are on the floor his head is down and that's George and we've seen uh, on reddit some of the people mocking him back from back in high school talking about him being a flamboyant weirdo <laughs> and I could just imagine those guys probably gave him wedgies and noogies and, and I'm not necessarily advocating bullying but this is a guy who's not a good person, so I don't feel bad that they did that to him. And he couldn't meet up with anybody. Just so afraid. And the one person who did, who showed a pair of balls, is the guy I bet none of us would have expected to do it, and that's Roger. He did what George always threatened to do. He took a situation that he didn't like and he tried to exert his will on it. George should be ashamed. And it really, it, it frames George's relationship with Roger, to, for me at least, in a different light. Now I understand why Roger had zero fear about handing the book over to the goons. Because what's George going to do? He's not going to beat him up. Not Roger, because Roger will stand up for himself. Roger probably would have beaten George down if George talked shit. It's hilarious that goofy ass Roger is more of a man than George. Wow. I mean, who would have ever guessed that? It's just, it's funny as shit. <laughs> George, if you listen to this, you should be embarrassed. You should be absolutely embarrassed. 
hang your head in shame. But instead, just like that kid in high school that finds a pair of balls, as soon as George realizes that the goons are no longer in town, what does he do? He makes a gloating video and declares it a victory. Yeah, you know why it was a victory? Because you successfully hid. Because you suc succeeded in not being confronted. Despite the fact that you asked for years for this. Years. You begged Yanks to meet you. You begged Marty to meet you. you. You begged numerous people. Henry. And here's your chance. Your hated nemesis are in town. You've got all these people that you swore revenge upon and you did nothing. You cowered in the shadows, slinking like a rat. Like the rodent you are. Just embarrassing. Now I looked around online, I wanted to see if there were any any people that were kind of neutral talking about this situation. I didn't find many comments, I, I did find one little spot online where there were a couple people talking about it. I'm not going to say where because I don't want him to track it down and harass these people for having an opinion, which he's always done, which is why he is where he's at right now. Why there are people trolling him and, and hounding him. And that's because back in the early days of YouTube, he would patrol the comments and if anybody said anything he didn't like, he would start talking shit. Not realizing that he was uh, prodding a stick at a lion. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so the first comment I saw was some, from someone named Sarah Baby 5757 and she said, I've been following the GG saga for, ye for like forever. Usually I feel bad for George, not anymore. I've been excited for GoonCon to happen because George is big and I thought he would manhandle the trolls, but he never showed up. Seems like he is just a bunch of talk. The next com comment was from Hops, Yeast, and Malt, and it says, LOL, Roger is more of a fighter than George. <laughs> Amen to that. Uh, the next one was from someone named El Tigre, and it says, Wow, so everything the goon said is true. George is a coward. They came to Richmond and tried to find him, but he hid the entire time? He should be embarrassed. I mean, I, I couldn't put it any better than that. Short to the point and 100% true. The next comment is from uh, someone named The Surge. It says, Does anyone know if George ever started his Patreon? I was bullied for a long time and I would love to help him out. Um, no, he never did. Uh, and No surprise because he doesn't do anything he says he's going to do. Uh, the comment that responded to that one says, uh, it's from somebody named Max Zorus, and it says, Dude, don't waste your money. I wanted to help him too, but now that I know what a scared bitch he is, I ain't giving him squat. Ha ha ha. So yeah, that's all the comments I could find. Uh, I do think it's interesting that this goon con has been bad for him in numerous ways. Uh, and one that was kind of unforeseen is that these um, kind of neutral people on the internet have turned against him. And I can't blame him, because... He never follows through on anything he's gonna. He says he's gonna do. Uh, he makes all the all this big talk, and doesn't do anything. So yeah, uh, just really amazing. You had people tromping through his neighborhoods, putting up flyers, visiting people that are supposed to be his friends, and uh, he doesn't even show up to support them. It's really sad. Anyway, it's all I got. This is the captain, signing off.